What's good family? Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to move from this to this own Photoshop. Let's get to it. Own Photoshop right now, the first thing we're going to do is to brighten up the image. How are we doing that? We're going to our curves adjustment layer. Curves right there. We want to brighten it. There's two ways to do it. You can either like increase the brightness there or how I do it, the most convenient way, is to just change the blending mode to screen. It's quicker. Yeah. Because we want this to only target the highlights only, we wanna right click, go to blending options, and, okay wait, yeah, and it's open now. Go to your underlying layer right there. So you want this to only be on the highlights. So the black is the shadows, the white is the highlights. On the underlying layer, I wanna go to the shadow side, push that little arrow away from the shadows. As you can see, it's going to the highlights right now. And once it's there, so it's looking good, right? No, I'm joking. It's it's not, of course. So what? Oh damn! Oh damn! No, damn! That was bad. Okay. <laughs> We're back online now. Yeah. So the lines are way too defined. So how we make them like you know even out and look more natural? You're gonna hold out, click the same arrow. Right now there's like two arrows there, as you can see. So the one on the right, you're gonna like further it away until you like it just like that. Cool, right? Yeah. Okay, so we've done that for our highlights. So right now, we, we just want this to be applied on the skin only. How do we do that? So we're gonna go to the layer mask, white reveals black hides. We're gonna control I on Windows, command I on Mac, and then we're gonna go to the white brush. Make sure your opacity is 100, your flow is 100, and your hardness is on 0%, and then we're just gonna paint on her skin. Only where we want the, the highlights to pop. Just like that. It's not so visible. But like it is effective. Just like that. Let me show you the before and after. Okay, let's add her hair as well. Yeah. Let me show you the before and after. Before, after. Ooh, that's, that added more depth. So we've done with the, the highlights. Right now, let's go do the shadows. Same thing. Curves adjustment layer. Right now we're going to multiply, not screen. Yes, same approach, right click, blending options, and then we're gonna be pushing from the whites to the blacks because we want the shadows to be more defined. Okay, I want it right there. Alt, hold Alt, click, further. Okay, I love it. Okay, this is a bit too extreme, so we just want it to be on the skin only. So we're gonna hold Control i on Windows, Command i on Mac, and then we're just gonna paint over her skin. Just over her skin. Just over her skin. Yeah. I had already retouched and color graded this image, so the only thing that I hadn't done was to add the depth. And I'm doing it with you right now. Yeah. So you're just gonna be doing this, painting over the shadow side of the image on her skin you feel me yeah and it's different with it, like every image so however like it works for you just do it perfect perfect so let's see the before and after before after let's turn down the opacity a bit uh, that's perfect so let me hold shift and then Control g to create a group let's see the before and after before after and just like that the image has more depth i use this on almost all my images well all my images that's about it let me show you the before and after before and after okay let's make a quick uh, recap now the, the first thing we do curves adjustment layer screen blending options push it away from your shadows and feather it by holding out. And then your shadows, curves adjustment layer, multiply, blending options. I think I'm being a bit too fast, am I? Push it away from your highlights, feather it again, just like that. Feel the before and after of the whole image, before, after. That's about it family, that's how you add depth to your images in less than two 
minutes. Thank you for watching. Try this out and have a nice day.